Hi, my name's Hugo Nicholson. I am an engineer, producer, mixer slash composer based in LA. And I've worked with various people over the last 30 years from Primal Scream to Beck to Radiohead. I worked in movies on Oceans 11, 12, 13, Ice Age. The first thing you have to get right is your room. If your monitors aren't sounding the way they should, then everything you send out of that room is going to be subpar. It's not going to be as good as you intended it to be. And I started looking around at getting my room kind of tuned, uh, other room correction there was, and taking all, all the possibilities that could help me out uh, on a small uh, budget space that wasn't like, you know, that I didn't spend tens of thousands getting the room corrected uh, with uh, physical build outs. And I saw a few cheaper room corrections, some that you could you just put on your door and you run through it uh, as a plugin. And, and that worked really well for me for a while. But I just find I would do make mistakes, like forget to put it on when I mixed and then send the mix out. And it would sound awful at the other end. And I'd seen Trinov and I was worried about the expense but I just, at the end of the day, I just thought this is the most important thing in my studio is getting the sound right in the studio. Every other piece of equipment I have, every other plugin, every, everything is useless unless I get the sound in my studio right. What I noticed was the difference between the sound was the, the, the transients on the Trinov were just so much more there, more up front and listening back the software plugin room correction I had, it was a little spongy. Obviously, I mean, you know, the Trinov is way more expensive. Does it sound more expensive? Yes, it does. My speakers are relatively inexpensive. I have a sub and one of the problems with that sub is the crossover isn't great. Um, so when I plugged in the uh, Trinov and discovered they had bass management, suddenly that was another dimension I had, a full bandwidth of, of the sub and the speakers and a, a seamless crossover that didn't damage the speakers sound or the sub sound. It was just suddenly so much purer. I uh, just uh, composed my first movie and I mixed everything in here and um, I was recently at the dub stage and hearing it all at the dub stage and realizing it was you know top class you know as good as anything I'd ever done in a, in a proper room. Uh, when I get comments from clients that they aren't based around like oh uh, there's too much bass or there's not enough bass or there's too much top or sounding a bit honky or whatever it is so those comments have, have disappeared and we can really now focus on uh, the creative aspects of the mix you know what needs to come up what needs to go down and, and not really about the frequency spectrum which you know makes a more creative response from from the the client instead of them clouded by a major problem of frequency that they are getting in the mix they can then focus on you know how, how how loud things should be for home studios um, something like the turn of is invaluable because it clears up all that worry that you just have you know you just put up with something you know you're a little bassy you know, and you just try and work around it. But with, with the Trinov, you spend quite a lot of money buying it and then you completely forget about it because it's invisible and seamless in the studio. It's not something you're gonna 
get, get to use and manipulate every day, it doesn't happen. So it's, it's there, it, it does its job impeccably and you never have to worry about it once you've got it set up. And now I have more confidence with everything I send out of this room. You know, I know that what I'm hearing, the client's gonna hear.